from being necessary for our crops to them potentially breaching over to crops that aren't expecting them, these are the uses of pesticides and their effects on humans. Pests can be a real pain when it comes to growing crops. No one wants hungry insects, pesky weeds, and relentless diseases wreaking havoc on their produce. It's not a pretty sight, and it can seriously mess with our food supply and economy. But that's where pesticides come into play. These handy tools are like the superheroes of crop protection, swooping in to save the day. You see, pesticides are specially designed to shield our precious crops from those troublemakers. They ward off insects, weeds, and diseases that would otherwise chomp away at our hard-earned harvest. That's great news for our stomachs and our wallets. Not only do pesticides safeguard crops, but they also contribute to something pretty important, food security. By preventing the destruction of agricultural produce, pesticides play a vital role in ensuring that we have enough food to go around. But another important aspect of pesticide use is disease control. We all know those pesky disease-carrying critters, like mosquitoes and ticks that can turn a pleasant outdoor adventure into a never-ending itch fest. But it's not just the annoyance factor. These tiny troublemakers can transmit serious diseases to humans. And here, pesticides can really save the day. They play a crucial role in controlling and preventing the spread of diseases carried by these insect and tick vectors. Think about it. We're talking about diseases like malaria, dengue fever, Zika virus, and many others that can have a significant impact on our health and well-being. Now, it's important to note that disease control goes beyond just protecting ourselves from the occasional mosquito bite. These diseases can have severe consequences, especially in areas where they are widespread. They can lead to widespread illness, hospitalizations, and sadly, even loss of life. Using pesticides keeps these disease vectors in check. But while we're on the topic, let's talk about another important use of pesticides, protecting farm animals. When it comes to these animals, Pests like parasites, ticks, and fleas can be a real pain in the, um, behind. These little critters can cause all sorts of problems. They irritate the animals, suck their blood, and make their lives generally uncomfortable. Not to mention the health issues they can bring along, leading to decreased productivity and economic losses for farmers. But don't worry, pesticides come to the rescue once again. They are used in animal care to combat these pesky pests and protect our beloved livestock. Pesticides formulated specifically for animals help control and manage the populations of parasites, ticks, fleas, and other bothersome creatures that can harm our two- and four-legged friends. Although sure, they can't just go around spraying pesticides everywhere, it's still a lot easier to figure out than having to take care of hundreds of sick animals. But the problem runs even deeper than that. You know those juicy fruits, tasty veggies, and golden grains we love to munch on? Well, they need some protection too, especially when they're off on their journey from the fields to our plates. Imagine you're a farmer and you've just harvested a crop of juicy tomatoes or a stash of golden grains. You don't want all your hard work to go to waste, right? Well, that's where pesticides come into play. Pesticides help control those sneaky pests that lurk in the shadows, just waiting to spoil our food. These pests can be insects, rodents, or even microscopic critters that you can't see with the naked eye. They can get to our stored grains, fruits, and veg, turning them into mush or contaminating them with all sorts of nasties. Pesticides easily create a protective shield around our precious produce, ensuring that they stay fresh, safe, and ready to enjoy. Proper pesticide application is like a magic trick that extends the shelf life of our harvested crops. It helps maintain their quality, preventing spoilage and preserving their flavor, texture, and nutritional goodness. So when we finally get our hands on those crispy apples, plump berries, or hearty grains, it's all because pesticides were used at the right time to keep them safe. While pesticides have their benefits, it's important to acknowledge that they also come with potential health risks for humans. It's like a double-edged sword, which is why it's so important to make sure they're being used correctly. You see, when we're exposed to pesticides directly, through inhalation, or by consuming food and water that's been contaminated, it can have some not-so-pleasant consequences for our health. It's a sneak attack from those little chemical warriors. Long-term or excessive exposure to certain pesticides has been linked to a range of health issues. We're talking about respiratory problems that make it hard to catch our breath, skin irritation that can make us itch like crazy, and even more serious effects on our nervous system. Yep, it can mess with our brains too, causing neurotoxicity that affects our coordination and cognitive functions. But that's not all. Some pesticides have the audacity to mess with our hormones too. 
They disrupt the delicate balance in our bodies, which can lead to all sorts of troubles. Not only can they cause problems for women trying to conceive, there's even an increased risk of several types of cancer. But this one's more of a low-key risk, one that is mostly just an issue if you're being exposed to pesticides all the time. That doesn't mean that accidents don't happen. They do, and sometimes people may come into contact with high doses of certain pesticides. No matter what it is, accidental ingestion, inhaling the chemicals, or even absorbing them through the skin, it can be disastrous. Yep, I'm talking about acute pesticide poisoning. They can vary depending on the type of pesticide, but let me tell you, they're not pleasant. Think about feeling queasy, experiencing sudden spells of vomiting, feeling dizzy like you just got off a roller coaster, or having a headache that feels like a drum solo inside your skull. Yeah, it can get really bad really fast, and it doesn't even stop there. If things take a turn for the worse, you might even encounter some more serious symptoms. We're talking about intense abdominal pain, muscle weakness that makes you feel like a limp noodle, or even seizures. Too much exposure to the pesticide could even be lethal, but it would take a massive amount of pesticide for things to get that serious. Plus, if the symptoms start to show up, your local poison control center should be able to help if you reach out early enough. Now let's also take a look at an important aspect of pesticide use that goes beyond our immediate reach, environmental contamination. Yep, the chemicals don't just stay where you put them, they have a way of spreading and affecting the entire world around us. Pesticides can find their way into the environment through different paths. They might hitch a ride with water runoff, making their way into nearby rivers, lakes, or other water bodies. Or they might seep into the groundwater and mess with our precious drinking water. And let's not forget about the sneaky drift that can happen during pesticide application, where the wind carries those tiny particles to places they shouldn't be. So, what does all this environmental contamination mean for us humans? Well, it's like an indirect game of hide-and-seek with potential health concerns. When pesticides contaminate our water sources or end up in the crops we eat, it can put us at risk. Consuming contaminated water or food can expose us to those pesticides, and over time, it may lead to health issues we'd rather avoid. Now, you might be wondering why this would even be a problem. Considering we put pesticides in food crops anyway, how is it any different if it just happened to make its way to another? Well, let's break it down. When pesticides are used on food crops, it's done under controlled conditions and following specific guidelines. Farmers apply the right amount at the right time to target the pests that threaten the crops. This way, they can protect their harvest and make sure there's no damage to the overall supply. But the same pesticides could affect different plants and water a lot differently. Plus, we can't just estimate how much exposure a certain crop has had to run off pesticides which just cranks up the risk of acute poisoning even more. It's a dangerous guessing game no one wants to play. But as you can probably tell by now, most of the potentially harmful effects of pesticides on humans have less to do with the pesticide itself and more with how it's handled. As long as everyone's being safe, using the right amount and making sure it's not making its way to other plants and water, everyone should be able to enjoy its benefits. So from their potential of breaching over to crops that aren't expecting them, to still being the superheroes our crops deserve. Those were the uses of pesticides and their effects on humans.